So MFL, if I had a pound for every time someone said to me, why study another foreign language, I would be really rich. But languages are important. As human beings, we need to connect with people. We need to talk to people. We need to show that we're open minded in terms of cultures and how else to do that other than by learning languages. And that's something we very much strive to do as a department is to show girls the application for their languages, the relevance of their languages um, and the importance of languages in the 21st century. In year nine, when the girls make their options, they choose two languages that they'll do at GCSE and they'll have two hours of their language through year 10 and year 11. Plus, in year 11, they'll have half an hour with a native speaking language assistant. Um, by this stage, the subject, we do the IGCSE, so the international GCSE, uh, and the subject is broken up into five distinct topic areas, which are the same irrespective of the language you do. So you'll do something about school and education, you'll do something about your personal life, you'll do something about the environment. The five topic areas are set out very clearly. So we start teaching the GCSE programme in year nine. Um, and the girls will do two of the topic areas, two of five topic areas in year nine. Then they'll carry on and do two of them in year 10. And then the fifth one will be covered in year 11. Plus we will consolidate again what was covered in the earlier years. So by the time they get to the end of year 11, they've had effectively three years preparing for the GCSE. Well, I think languages at Surbiton are very special for two main reasons. Number one is because when the girls come in in year seven, they get a taster of all four languages um, and then they will choose the ones that they want to carry on with. So it's entirely up to them, the ones that they're where they're performing well and the ones where that they love studying. And the other thing I think is the MFL team. So the team is very diverse. We've got young teachers, we've got older teachers with experience of, of the outside world, of the business world. We're very fortunate to have three native speaking language assistants uh, who spend time with year 10, at the end of year 10, with year 11, all the way through year 11, and one-to-one uh, -one with our year 12 and 13 students. So there's a whole variety. It's a, the, the department is diverse. We've got different experience uh, and different things to offer the girls. And everyone is hugely passionate about their own language. And, and also, and a large number of the teachers teach more than one language. So they've got an insight into, into um, the languages of different countries. This year it's slightly difficult because of COVID, but in the past we've run a number of trips. Each department runs a number of trips. So, for example, we have an exchange for year eight pupils in French. We go over to Fontainebleau with a school, um, with a, uh, an international school there, which is a wonderful experience. Um, we have run trips also in French to Bordeaux, to a language school. We've taken girls to a language school in Nice, and we've had uh, cultural and linguistic trips to Paris as well. The German department does a trip to Berlin um, and they've also, they also do a trip for year 11 to Rhineland, which is hugely popular. The Spanish department has had trips to uh, Andalusia, to Granada, to Costa Rica. There's a huge variety of trips and they change every year depending on what the teachers are able to offer. Personally, in terms of teaching, I love seeing the girls progress. So from year seven, when they come in and they've got no experience of a language at all, um, you just see them grow each year. And when you then get them to A level, it's so rewarding to see them surviving in a language. But for me, the driving force is, I know that some pupils won't want to carry on with languages. So for them, there's maybe, it's going to be about the, the practicalities of the language. If they go on an interrailing holiday, they can buy their train ticket or they can buy a ticket for a museum or they can survive and, and buy their food. It's going to be a very practical application for, for maybe the non-linguists. And that's really rewarding. They'll get a tremendous buzz from that. But for the girls who really are linguists, who want to go on to university and beyond, it's knowing that they'll go abroad for that year abroad as part of their university studies and they'll start to dream in the language. They'll start to use idiosyncratic phrases. They'll use idiomatic expressions. They will just embrace the culture of the language and they'll come back so enriched as people that it's seeing that, seeing people go through that experience that's so rewarding.